Hey Scotty, it's season two of Serious and Silly. We have to figure out an intro. What do you got? Hmm, I got nothing. You? Me either. All right, guess we're skipping to the episode. Hey, hey, hey! It's uh, Serious and Silly, season two. Uh, Scott and Sheila. My left is Sheila, or my right, whatever you're seeing. I am, of course, Scott. And Sheila, today I'm wearing a fancy Canada Olympic hat, and it's not because uh, they turned the hydro off or I didn't pay my bill. Well, I didn't pay the bill, but they didn't turn it off just yet. It's because today's guest is a 13-time world champion in sprint canoe. Uh, she is a, a three-time, she has three world records, and uh, most recently in the 2018 World Championships, she won three gold medal. Uh, not to jinx her, she is uh, expected or uh, predicted to win two gold medals at the 2021 Olympics in Tokyo. And my fearless prediction, Sheila, you heard it first here, and uh, Laurence will come back once it comes true, is she will be our flag bearer at e either the opening or closing ceremonies. That is my prediction. Mm -hmm. Laurence, welcome to Champlain College. How are you today? Woohoo! Hi. <laughs> Um, wow, you've put a lot of pressure on me with this <laughs> with, with your just now. <laughs> oh my goodness! That's just just how great I feel about you after watching some of your races. We we're talking a little bit off air, and when you get a chance to uh, to Google Laurence Vincent Lapointe after, uh, yeah, the first thing we asked her was how how she stays balanced. It's just it's a crazy sport. So go watch it. Watch this first, and then go watch <laughs> that after. So actually, Scotty, on that point, uh, Laurence, I think one of the main questions that Scott and I wanted to ask um, you is, how did you get into Sprint Canoe? I had no idea what this was before. I don't even know how Scott found it. Um, but yeah, no, I just wanted to know, like, how you got into it? How did you embrace it? Um, and I just become aware of it. Um, so... I also did not know it was a thing, um, but when I was around 12 or 12, 13, um, my, you know, I didn't want to go to summer camp anymore. And my parents were like, well, there's no way we're leaving you at home with a computer all day long. So mm -hmm. you got to find something. Um, so I looked around and I realized um, my, my, one of my best friend and her sister were also doing canoe kayak. So I was like, why, well, why not? I'm going to try. Mm -hmm. And ended up being rough <laughs> I was so bad <laughs> so incredibly bad always in the water every single day for two years falling in the water falling in the water every day um because my balance was way off and um I mean uh, to ask answer your question early, earlier the only way I managed to stay in the boat is actually I just kept going um mm. I get bad every day but then I'd come back the next day and I just kept going for two years and you know. <laughs> that is incredible well that's a story um you know never giving up so what a, that's an, an awesome uh, advice uh, for our, our student athletes what i'm getting um, from this sheila is she's saying if i start today i could be a world champion in like two years i believe in you scott <laughs> i'm not gonna ask Laurent yeah. that question for you because i don't want to put her on the spot <laughs> i have no doubts <laughs> Um, Scott actually um, had mentioned uh, when he was doing all this research on you that you were advocating for your sport for about 10 years. Um, you were advocating for sprint canoe. Um, so on that note, for it to be implemented into the Olympics, which it will be, which is amazing. Um, and on the topic of advocating, uh, what advice would you give to female athletes in regarding um, advocating for themselves and advocating for things that they believe in? Um, so it is very difficult and I'll be outright and say, I was lucky that I didn't have to like go to meetings and everything to like be, let women raise, you know, um, my role was way more about being on the field and racing and proving people that women could look strong and be strong and be fast, you know, like one of the things I hate <laughs> more than anything is when someone uses like as a woman mm. a bad sense like running as a woman uh like doing chin-ups as a woman like any any dumb thing that they they'll use 
as a woman to like minimize our effort or minimize what we do um I find that so so bad Mm -hmm. so just it 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 disrupts all the effort we put into what we do every day Mm -hmm. and so I'd say first thing like try to make people realize that whenever they use that in a sentence it is it is not meant it should not be said um Mm -hmm. that's what i i did like myself i i just tried to paddle the best i could and Mm -hmm. every time someone would come to me and be like wow i did not know women could paddle like that well yeah (laughs) (laughs) i'm strong i'm able to paddle like that it's not like it's not like uh because i'm a woman i can't paddle so there you go (laughs) i see so um that's kind of what I did and I just you know just give your best and just it's sad that we have to prove ourselves but at the same time it's so satisfying when you can uh like just put it in someone's face like Mm -hmm. there you go Mm -hmm. I prove so yeah that's great so it's like the language that we use not giving up and just proving by your action yes exactly that was amazing thank you so much for that advice no, that's great. Uh, so, yeah, you were basically, like Sheila said, the first time Spring Canoe was supposed to be was the 2020 Olympics. Uh, it got postponed to 2021 because of the pandemic. How's your training going? How do you feel? Are you ready to win those two golds? I promise everybody. Oh, boy. Um, well, we are training as much and as well as we can. Um, we still have to consider that there is a pandemic going on. Um, so usually at this time of the year, we would all be in Florida. <laughs> yes, I'm a snowbird, uh, 28 year old, already a snowbird, but you know, <laughs> this year, sadly, we could not go. So we are currently in, uh, BC in British Columbia to train and it's going pretty well considering that we have to be super, super careful, um, with our living, uh, our, like organization and, um, how we battle, how we organize it in the schedule but we are you know we are doing the best we can and we just train as much as we can every day just a quick follow-up on that laurence uh yeah so in bc it's a little bit better than quebec in quebec we have to shut down our seasons um what advice do you have to give to our student athletes about persevering and just figuring out a way to stay motivated even though there's not actually athletic competitions right now yeah um so i I assume you guys know, but last, um, like last year, well, not 2020, but 2019, I got suspended for about six months. um, And I was able to prove that I was uh, all clear and there was nothing wrong with me. But for six months, I was not allowed to even talk to my teammates and my coaches. And that's why right now I relate so much to everyone who's who doesn't have any access to a gym, to uh, people outside. And what I think the most important thing is, is to find ways and people to help you. It may sound weird since you're everyone's stuck in their home, but even through Zoom or, uh, you know, any interaction you have to with other people, you can help each other, motivate each other motivate each other and also like I mean when I was suspended I went for hot yoga because I was like well I need to do something that's going to bring me out of my house and well there's a yoga place right there so I should try it and it was good like I found a gym where I could train and I found like people to help me um, put some kind of schedule in my in my week you know Mm -hmm. I knew that Monday I had a, a yoga Tuesday I had weights, Wednesday I had like, you know, every day I had something. And that was the only thing that helped me like move day after day. It was mm-hmm. to like find something that motivated me. And uh, so for people who are stuck at home, I really advise find some way to put yourself into a, a schedule as much as possible. Mm-hmm. Yes, <laughs> difficult. Yeah. I get my daily naps in. Does that count as a, a schedule? Yes, naps are also really important. You know, if you put it every day at the same time and then you do like something else <laughs> and you, it really works well for a schedule. 
Sheila, make sure you record that for our boss, Dean <laughs> yeah, Howie, so exactly. that he knows, uh, he knows a 13-time world champion approves my daily naps. Oh, my gosh. You just it's... gave him ammunition, Laurence. <laughs> um, thank you so much for, for touching, uh, touching base on, on what you said. And it goes back to advocating for yourself um, and everything. And sometimes advocating for yourself is... It's uh, maybe not necessarily, you know, stepping up and being the main voice, but just taking a step back and observing, um, but still being true to yourself and strong. Uh, so thank you so much for, for doing that and, for yourself. Yeah. And finding help when you yeah. need it, you know, it's important. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So um, Laurence, Laurence, the show is called Serious and Silly. Uh, we asked you the serious and now it's time for silly. Um, each, each. Sometimes, every so often, we play a something we like to call the secret game. The secret game. <laughs> so, Laurence, basically what we're going to do is uh, our friend Sheila here. Uh, she is going to uh, show you a summer Olympic sport, and you are going to have to describe that sport to her so that she can guess it correctly. N now, okay. now, in lieu of your... Um, Olympic record of 500 in the 500 meter a sprint canoe of one minute and 53 seconds. We are going to put one minute and 53 seconds on our fake clock. We don't have the budget for a real clock. No budget. And, and there will be five sports and you will have to describe them uh, for Sheila. And if you get five out of five, uh, well, you're just the best. Oh boy. So, you know, like the game headband, um, I have written cards here, which my sister filled out. So I've never seen these before. So okay. basically you read it out. Um, you, sorry, you, you don't read it out. <laughs> you explain, <laughs> you, don't read it out. <laughs> you explain what the sport is without actually using any of the words. And then I'll try to figure it out. And what I'm going to do to make sure that I'm not cheating is I'm going to just hide my screen with the post-it here on my actual physical desktop. So I don't see the word basically oh yeah the word yeah. you're sure yes. exactly i was we were trying to figure out the game i swear like 10 minutes before the call i call i call scott i'm like it's not gonna work i'm gonna see myself <laughs> so it works it's, it's gonna work it's gonna work in the end okay i don't know if they're upside down so uh yeah okay i'll tell you if if i need okay perfect um scott are you going to be starting the timer <laughs> we are going to start the timer just like I, at, uh, they have the uh, the shooter's pistol, uh, Laurence, we are going to start it at the shooter's oh. pistol. And three, two, one, patoof. I need sound from uh, your other, because <laughs> I cannot see your screen at all because it stayed on Scott's. <laughs> oh, uh, hold on. For, for the... Yeah, no, it's fine. You got it? So you have um, someone who's uh, going for a target from a certain distance with uh, a, um, I don't want to use something too evident. Uh, you have a string attached to a piece of wood, usually. Okay. And you pull on the string. Okay, archery. Yes. Okay, good. Yay! Bow or arrows. <laughs> Thank you for not making it super simple. Okay, well, this one is pretty easy for me. Okay. <laughs> Drink a note. <laughs> yeah. I have to put one easy one in there just in case. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Next. Oh, Can you? Go. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's in the water. You move your arms and legs really fast to go the fastest. Just, so water. So just. <laughs> you move like, your arms to move. Okay. So swim, swimming? Swim? Okay. <laughs> Scott, yes. these are easy, Scott. Oh, no, yeah. they're not easy, just uh, Laurence is really good at explaining it. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so you have a round object. Okay. Uh, because I cannot use the word. And there's a net, and there's two teams, and they try to, like, smash on the ground. I was going to say uh, water pool, or no? On the ground. Oh, on the ground. Yes. Uh, volleyball. And there's usually find stuff underneath your feet. <laughs> Beach volleyball. <laughs> so good. Four for four. One more to go. Last one. Woo. Uh, can you speak again? There, there we go. There okay, go. yeah. There so go. you have two opponents. They have gloves and they just try to hit each other on the face. 
Um, I was going to say boxing, but probably when uh, Scott tried to tell Melanie to uh, to be quiet and she uh, <laughs> earlier in the call. <laughs> that that yeah. unfortunately is not an Olympic sport yet, Sheila. But yes, boxing is correct. You guys were five for five. Wonderful. Yeah, Thank you so yeah. much, Hello. You're amazing. You're amazing. <laughs> well, they weren't too bad. <laughs> Um, if somebody would like to um, follow your journey and follow you um, for everything that you're going to be, you know, taking part of, uh, how would they do that? Um, so I have an Instagram page at Laurence de Saint Lapointe, and I have a Facebook page, athlete Facebook page at Laurence de Saint Lapointe again. <laughs> um, so they can go on either pages or both, and they'll see me. Uh, I post stuff about my training, stuff about life, stuff about my competitions when I have some. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I post uh, pretty regularly, yeah. <laughs> okay, perfect. Okay, that's great. Um, and if you guys want to follow our show, Serious and Silly with Scott and Sheila, you can follow us on our Champlain St. Lambert YouTube page. And we post once a week. Pretty sure it's going to be posted on Tuesdays. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for joining us. Um, and, and your words to our, our student athletes and to the female athletes were spot on honestly thank you very much for that <laughs> thank you for having me over thank Best you of luck laurence good luck thank Bye. you take care Bye.